So hold on to that with your right hand. We're here at the Lakeville uh, Airport. Uh, what is the proper name of the airport? Oh, this is Air Lake. Uh, Air uh, Lake yes. Airport. Uh, Air Lake Airport at Lakeville. And I have Gordon Duke with me. Gordon Duke. And he, you are a member of the chapter? I am a member of uh, Chapter 25 and a member of the national organization, DAA, also. Okay. And I'm, I'm actually serving as the secretary of the chapter right now. Mm -hmm. Because you said yes. I didn't say no <laughs> fast enough. Yes, uh, yes. So I'm the uh, secretary. Uh, Gordon, you were explaining to me earlier about the DAA and the mm -hmm. chapter and the uh, youth flying program here. Could you explain that for people? Today? Oh, certainly, Tom. The uh, EAA uh, chapter is a national organization, and they are small airplane owners and pilots, and uh, uh, we just like to uh, foster flying airplanes and having fun, and we share knowledge. Uh, the uh, chapter is here is called Chapter 25, and that's a local branch or division of the National. Uh, chapter 25 has been here at Air Lake now for at least 30 years. We've been around for a while, and uh, we actually have this hangar that's behind you where uh, we have our meetings. Uh, we're out here today with what we call our Young Eagles program, and uh, basically the idea is to share our enthusiasm for flying with young people. About once a month, we try to get as many young people as we can and talk airplanes, and uh, if the weather permits, uh, fly. Well, this is a beautiful day, sunny day, uh, calm, flying, and day. is there anything that uh, would stop how many people you, you generally have on a weekend day like this? Or? I think we were uh, supposed to have at least 40 uh, uh, young uh, So this is some people's first flight out here? I think it is most of the, uh, of the young uh, people's first flight, yes. First flight, right in a small airplane, of course, uh, uh, not counting in a small airplane. And um, in the 30 years, the pilots that are flying today, are they volunteering? Uh, yes, uh, they are volunteering. They're flying their own airplanes, and they're volunteering their time and effort and gasoline and money. And I'm here with Ross Azevedo. And Ross, you've been with the program a uh, number of years. I've been with the EAA probably now 12, 14 years. I've been flying since 72. Uh, so it's been a while that I've been up in the air, yes. So you've seen a few changes in, over the years? Oh, changes are just incredible. I mean, like when I used to fl fly, started flying, we had one radio. Now you have an airplane that's going to have four or five radios. So again, you need a, you need an emergency locator transmitter, a whole transponder, a bunch of other things that were not necessary when I started flying, but are necessary now. Yeah, uh, that's the the technology in the airplane. We now have GPS, uh, which helps us in terms of navigation. Uh, we have a variety of other kinds of radios that we can use that just didn't exist back when I started. Yeah. So what was uh, your initial excitement about flying back in 1972? Well, I was, a, you know, as, as a kid, I, I, I watched the airplanes fly over and I just loved it. I spent a lot of time during my high school years out at the airport helping and getting free rides. Uh, and uh, so finally I got to the point where I could start taking lessons and I did. And that's what happened. And again, I've, I've, it's a great sport. It is. Uh, it's, there's nothing finer than taking off in a nice, bright morning like this and watching the, the, the ground go down, the airplane go up, and just to see the world out there. It's just beautiful. Do you see the Young Eagles uh, program as uh, beneficial to the people? I, I hope so. From what we know, it does help. Aviation is a very expensive sport. And so a lot of folks refrain from getting involved because of the cost. And with programs like this, you get them interested. Uh, you can sometimes work out arrangements to get low-cost training, and, and that makes it uh, an entree into the, into the profession, into the business. And some of these people, I'm sure, will go on and fly airliners, and they'll be flying you and I around the sky someday, uh, going from here to there.
shirt tell us about your experience today with flight tell us your name and how to spell your name and tell us about your experience today while you were flying Just speak loud and tell us your name it's okay what's your name ulysses can you spell ulysses for me can you spell that u l l y s e s okay ulysses tell us about your flight experience today while tell us about your going up in the air flying and Tell us what's you, what you experienced when you were up there. It was cool. It was what? Now speak loudly. Let cool. Me, oh, well, what does cool mean? Can you explain that to me a little bit? Tell me about the coolness of it. We were up in the sky. Mm -hmm. oh, and, and what could you see when you were up there? The clouds. And when you look down, what could you see? Houses. Were they big houses? Yes. Okay. Would you like to try this again? Yeah. Okay. Well, 
Well, who is just standing next to you here? My mom. That's who? Mom. Okay, then. Well, let mom introduce herself and talk a little bit about her day out here. My name is Tasha Nixon. Um, I think this is a good opportunity for the youth to get out and um, experience something different. Um, it was a good opportunity for him. He's never been on an airplane before, so it was really good for him to get up, get, get up there in the sky and see how it is. Hello, I'm Miss Mamie Singleton, and I'm here out at the uh, uh, Air Lake Airport in Lakeville, Minnesota, and we're out here at the Chapter 25 uh, Young Eagles Hangar, and I'm with some of my former uh, students or current students going through the um, Youth Initiative Mentoring Academy's Aviation Academy, and we're here while they're continuing their uh, flight training and experiences uh, with flight. And with that, I want you to introduce yourself, say who you are, and tell us about your experience of flight uh, here today. I'm Tino Cooper, and the, the flight today was pretty cool. We went above the clouds, it was smooth. Yeah, it was a nice ride. Great. So you had an opportunity to uh, get a little more um, hours logged in in your flight time book, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, you look like you're pretty uh, excited there. Will you tell uh, the people here your name and and uh, what uh, this aviation uh, program is doing for you and, and uh, your experience today while you were up there flying? Well, it was fun to fly up there. Uh, it's like pretty fun um that we just flew up there past the clouds like and we never did that before yet so it's like a first time thing and um it was pretty nice because you can see everywhere around and like this is proven my like flights so i can go there one like fly somewhere another day or something and that'll probably be it Okay, good.